Hello. Oh, I was starting. How you doing? Do you need to have your head in? Better? No. Hi, Darren. Hi. We're both having issues with vlogging. Yeah, sometimes vlogging is harder than it looks. Because we have a, we are having our first, <clears throat> for those of you that watch Zoella and Alfie days, can I just say, we're having our first Zalfi moment. Tell him. Uh, well, I'm a tall guy, so. And I'm short. And then. Uh, so if yeah. he holds the camera, <clears throat> I'm I not don't. in it. <laughs> so, it's a small problem. Hey, <laughs> he just called me small. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, and it's hard for me because as soon as we got out of the car, the temperature changed. My whole entire back has spasmed and I'm having a hard time letting it let go. And it's like my neck and all my back. And it's, I sat down for a minute on a bench and I was trying to let the tension go, you guys. Because one thing that really helped me with involuntary movements, calming down and stuff is like consciously like letting my muscles go. But when I do that, then I shake. <laughs> So I was sitting there and like I tried to let my muscles go and literally, what was it, all my limbs went flying up in the air. So yeah. embarrassing. No one saw though. No. Except Darren. And he'll just laugh directly at me. So that that's yeah. just more honest at least. It's because I'm a big problem. <laughs> <laughs> where are we? We're lost in the woods. But really, where are we? What's uh, this place called? Um, Council? Like Council Crest Park. Uh, and... Uh, it's like a, like on the tallest hill in the uh, west hills of Portland, and uh, <clears throat> it overlooks the city, and uh, lots of people come here and and uh, walk their uh, dogs and stuff. And I wasn't falling. No, I know. Am I just I was, in your lane? No, I was just just thinking. I don't know <clears throat> how far you want to walk down. But, oh, I, I like it. Um, yeah, it's a beautiful park, and um, <clears throat> I guess many many years ago, historically, this park had uh, like some sort of like. Um, amusement park rides and things here can i be on the inside i'm scared okay yeah um, sure and I don't so fall this down was way look before, at the hill this is way before our time and uh apparently it had you know you know rides and you know if fair, i walk fair, wait like, i strategically i'd like to hold my arm closer to me okay so if you walk behind me a little bit okay then we're both in it right. oh and i can rest my arm oh, oh wait there's sun woohoo Okay, keep talking. Let's just stand here for a minute. Um, Turn this way. Okay, talk. Anyways, it was just it was just boring history. But I, <clears> you know. You lost me at wah, 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 I liked wah, it. Wah, I thought it was a good story. I, I wasn't you, listening. You, yeah, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> so, amusement park. That's all I remember. Anyways, it, was, it, it, it had an amusement <clears> park <throat> and stuff in here at the top of the hill way, way back in the day. And a lot of people don't know that, even native Portlanders. And uh, I just learned that myself a while ago. And anyways, I like stuff like that. I like history and, and whatnot. And you see how different places are used in different time periods and eras. It's kind of kind of fun, you know, the people that came before us. And, you know, and then who knows what it'll be 50 years, 100 years from now, the people that come after us. But, but um, yeah, we were talking earlier about just the, um, you know, what were we going to talk about? Well, I was going to say one thing. <laughs> This is a this is on the totally the other side of town for us. So like we wouldn't naturally just drive over here. Yeah. But sometimes when we have appointment days it happens to be that we have like a date afterwards and Maddie's yeah. like staying the night at our grandparents. Yeah. So like we Party. have <laughs> we get to go to a different part of town and Well, we had appointments over here yeah. and then we ended up eating over here and then yeah. from where we ended up that's when we kind of look and see what's around here. Yeah. To kind of just check out something. Yeah, you know. And that's that's what we've been doing. So, but we you know. were going to talk about the guy that we met, and how, okay, so when we were in the shop, the bakery, <clears throat> we wanted to tell you guys this. So when we went into that bakery that my great grandmother worked at years ago, <clears throat> there was this couple. And so while we were waiting for our tea lattes, um, if you're if you're nosy, this is um, a Ruibos tea soy latte with just like two pumps of a vanilla syrup. So it's um like a creamy decaffeinated or non-caffeinated herby african-y grassy tasting i think they'd be tea. more curious than nosy <clears throat> i'm not sure i think that it's it i don't know you're nicer than me i'm just brutally honest okay but while we were there darren's like i feel like just thanking this war veteran because he was a world war ii veteran so so darren said he was going to talk to him and i'm like oh i can already tell that the woman 
is like like looking for any conversation that she can get into and i don't mean that derogatorily if that's the right way to say that she's a friendly um, face but she, but you could tell that she was there seeking and happy to have social interaction Community, yeah yeah so i was like do it i can tell that they would appreciate it yeah <clears throat> so you started talking to the guy and thanking him for his service but then what was interesting is that as we were talking i have my cane today but not right now on this walk which is pretty fun um, but I had it just in case I was being wobbly. And now that it's getting a little cool, I might be glad that it's in the car. I digress. But she, after a while of talking and being coming com- becoming comfortable with me, she then said, oh, and she gestured toward my cane and then said, did you have surgery? And I noticed that this is something that people ask me often. What happened to your leg? What happened to your back? Oh, did you have surgery? And people are just kind and curious because I'm young and I'm, you know, sassy and loud and I look healthy and fine. She is sassy. You're sassy. <laughs> but um, I just wanted to share my response. And my response was, oh, well, I actually have a neurological condition and sometimes I stumble around or I might fall. Um, I stutter and I have... Um, what did I say? Involuntary movements. Well, that's just like the tip of the iceberg. And the conversation goes like this. Oh, oh, oh. You know, so she's like, you know, kind of surprised and, you know, not expecting that kind of answer. She's expecting, you know. I had back surgery. Or my my foot hurts or something, (laughs) you know, but yeah. So I just wanted to share that was like a really simple way to answer it. You know, I have a neurological condition. Yeah. And then just list a couple things that have, whatever you're comfortable with. But that was the, e- it depends. Cause sometimes I have a cane cause my back is really bothering me. And then my testimony is I have severe chronic pain. Or you can say, Hey, do you have a few hours? Because <laughs> we can sit down and we can talk. Hey, let me go get my, my charts. I'll be right back. Mm. And uh, no, don't do that. They'll be bored to death. And, uh, but yeah, there could be short ways of communicating to people on the fly uh, and if you think about it a little bit ahead of time, that can help. And I've had to deal with that too with my movement disorder. I don't Mine's... like how loud, 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 loud your Sorry. voice is. Sorry. But it's, um, yeah, my, I've had to deal with my movement disorder less just because it's oh. less visible. But, can you hold this? Um, I've, I've uh, you know, I've had to think of creative ways to explain it to people uh, when they see it or, or as they get to know me and whatnot. And, um, sometimes I feel like I say way too, this was perfect, Yeah. but sometimes I feel like I say too much and I'm like, I'm such a dork. Why did I say so much? And it doesn't matter. It it comes out the way it comes out. It is what it is. And, and, you know, and it it happens as it should. Yeah. And, and, you know, just, and you can learn from it too. Absolutely. And if, and if you feel like you should have said more or less, you can always adjust it next time. But, but you never know. Maybe like maybe they needed to hear something that I said. You never know. Yeah. And then we were talking about, you know, uh, having, uh, you know, getting out and kind of uh, when we don't feel like getting out. Can we and, walk some more while we talk? And uh, yeah. Okay. Because I need to. Yeah. Move. And so, uh, you know, because a lot of times we don't feel like getting out. We're tired, you know, whether, whether you're a fighter or you're a carer, sometimes getting out just sounds sounds like not fun and uh but uh we try to press ourselves a little bit to uh get out and uh experience life still and and um and we don't have a lot of money so coming to parks like this and just going on a short walk like i'm realizing that i want to keep going but i feel like once we get to the end of this slope we need to turn back because it's going to be too much for me to come back so we have to think about that Normal people just go and find themselves wherever they find them and whatever. Yeah. But I'm like, how many spoons do I have? Yeah. We don't want to have to get searched and rescued to drag us out of here. So. Um, and I'm wearing nice shoes and I don't want to have to get them dirty. Sure. And I'm just kidding. But I mean, you know, but you have to measure it out. You know, but it's like, it's like can, can you do what, can we do what we're doing today? Should we be doing this? And, you know. And, and then the hard part, like this morning, it's like I started this new thing that I've been saying and it's not like I made this up think Jeff Fox really made this up but I I think to myself hey you might ooh okay let me say this and then I'm going to show you something cool so you might have FN you might be an FND patient if and today mine was you might be an FND patient if you're only allowed to use the exercise machine for four minutes because you might have gumby legs and not be able to work right (laughs) hey I made it the four minutes thank you Mandy for encouraging me to do less than I was planning to do but luckily thankfully not luckily, thankfully, 
I made it and it didn't cause me symptoms. So now I know that I can do four minutes. Nice. Without that day, today. Nice. Tomorrow could be different. But. Well, and I have a movement disorder and I can't do regular repetitive activity either. And I was doing like five minutes mm -hmm. on a treadmill a few days a week and I did it for a while. And then my movement disorder kind of built up and went crazy on me. And, and uh, so, you know, I've been challenged with trying to find alternative type of routine stretches and exercise and things to kind of stay stay you know reasonably active as i can and, and walking's a good one for us and and uh and not usually too terribly taxing so that was me but, almost dropping my cup but yeah you know getting out when we can and and uh you know having a little bit of fun is is you know what we are trying to do and on the good days I'm and even on the mediocre days sometimes it takes a mediocre day and makes it better i hate it when you do that what it's mediocre mediocre mediocre, mediocre tea I don't live okay. in mediocrity. I guess you wouldn't say... Me <laughs> okay, fair enough. You wouldn't say mediocrity. No. But I don't think that you say mediocre. Mediocre. I think it... It's mediocre. I think it's yeah. mediocre. Yeah. Comment below. <laughs> Is it... How do we make this? You have to put... Put my name in the comment section, Larissa, or Larry, the Larry Andy, if it's mediocre... And put what in the comments if it's mediocre? If it's wrong, put this. I don't know. Put something. Just just We're don't getting... leave a medi mediocre comment. No, are you out of her way? Yeah. We're being passed up. So, no, we have to have something to put down if you are voting for Darren's wrong answer. I'm competitive, uh, so I'm going to frame you in a negative light. Come on, uh, you can't think on the fly? Say, say construction. Random. That is the most random thing you've come up with. Why did you pick that? I don't know. I, I thought of an orange cone. Why? Don't know. It just came to my mind. You were so <laughs> weird. Okay. Yeah. The Larry Andy. And now I'm if you're voting. Now I'm thinking of orange sherbet. Disgusting. Yeah. You don't even eat that. Okay, no. stop. <laughs> just stop. Okay, the Larry Andy, if it's mediocre, and construction, or orange sherbet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so if, loud if in I'm, nature. If, I'm right. if Darren's right yeah. with mediocre. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and construction. Construction. Yeah, orange sherbet. Stop. Okay, I'm going to show you this because it looks so cool. Besides, what else looks cool? My makeup. Except that one of my fake eyelashes is falling off, but. As long as I don't sneeze, I think it'll stay on. I'm not wearing any makeup. <laughs> okay, hold on. Look at this. Right. Okay, look up at here. Is this not amazing? wise words of the Looney Tunes or Warner Brothers. That's all, folks. Who was that that said that? Is it Yosemite Sam? Was it the little guy with the... I don't remember. Somebody said it. I'm not sure who. One of the characters from cartoons when I was a kid. Were you too old for those? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was too old. No. Well, remember how... <laughs> those cartoons were out before I was born. Wow. <laughs> Who's sassy now? <laughs> Okay, who's sassy now? Sometimes, because we're 11 years apart, some of the cartoons that yeah, I watched, yeah. you were too old for. Would you like to retract your sass? No. No? 
Are you sure? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> right now. What? Sometimes cartoons yeah, no, really, you really are yeah. too old. Right, right. But I guess that one was an old one. Sure. Was that one before my time too? They're before both our time. Those were started oh. on the 50s. So oh, really? Everybody's seen them, yeah. Oh, see, I don't know. Yeah. I don't remember that. Because I, sometimes I just assume they came out when I was a kid. The world revolved around me. No. Warner Brothers is old school. Oh, okay. So, so, on that note, what was your favorite cartoon when you were a kid? Yeah, right? Yeah. I'm trying to remember what mine was. I liked, I liked the Flintstones <gasps> a lot. I know what you liked. Hmm. Scooby-Doo. I liked Scooby-Doo a lot. I liked the Flintstones a lot, too. I like the Flintstones and the yeah. Jetsons. Yeah, the Jetsons are cool. Flintstones were awesome, though. There's this cartoon yeah. that I see that's Fred's popular in the UK, and I think I could be completely wrong and do not be offended. It's almost, it looks like this really cute, like, hippopotamus character. <laughs> You're looking... I don't know. I, I don't, it's cute, <laughs> but it's, like, black and white, but... I want to know what it is. Would you guys tell us? I want to know. Someone tell me. Someone message me. And they probably me. don't even know. It. Yeah, they do. It's no, no, no. Probably, was, Amy, you have a calendar with the with the thing. I was gonna say, if they, Amy, tell me. I was gonna say in the UK they may not know. Yeah, American exactly. Cartoons. So, so that, that, like that Fred oh, Flintstones. What's that? I know. That's why I'm yeah. thinking that that character that yeah. I see on everything must be a famous cartoon. There. Yeah. Please tell me, Amy. I saw your calendar. Okay. Well, we're gonna All finish right. up our walk. Yeah. Um, we had our first on-camera weird, awkward, argumenty, strange confusion was that moment. An no, it wasn't an argument. I'm just uh, picking the wrong word. <laughs> but I do that all the time. Bring me the the, the chicken. Yeah. The chicken. You yeah. know the, the the burrito. What right. do you want? A spoon. Don't right. you know? Like the weirdest things come out of my mouth sometimes. Do you guys get that too? Not you, but these guys. I do. I don't know. Yeah. No, I mean, you don't. Don't try to fit in. Well, I, just, <laughs> I don't get things sometimes, or I don't understand. You know, yeah, my I, don't, weird... I don't understand her love language, and then I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm just being silly. Uh, I know. I just <laughs> dropped my, my cup cozy. My love language would be you picking that up for me. Yeah. 12 years of marriage, I got this one cranked. Oh, just... please. <laughs> I only said that because you said that I know. in the so last video. You made some comments oh, about being trained. Being yeah. trained. yeah. yeah. No. So, all right, guys. So, all right. Tell us, what do you like to do to get out of your house? Yeah. We like to get out and see this. Look up. We like to look up. It's beautiful. Huh? And get out and breathe fresh air if you can. Open a window. Yeah, <laughs> you know, and honestly, we're both tired. I mean, you know, I'd rather, you know, the way I feel, I'd like to be home and sitting back and relaxing. But since I have the, the reasonable ability to do some of these things and we can get out still, we're trying to do it, you know. And I mean, life changes. We don't know what's in store. And some days we can't do this stuff, you know, or the rest can't do this stuff. But trying to enjoy what we can when we can and and uh and, and um, can i just say that yeah. even though like sometimes you know you're going to have symptoms because of what you do but um my dear friend mandy and i were talking this morning on video chat and we were talking about that like and i might have mentioned this since in the last beauty video i made but um it's like you can either sit at home and do nothing so that you don't trigger any symptoms and do nothing or you can get out and live and deal with the reasonable s symptoms because at least yeah. you get to live life. Yeah. And that's a better... Oh, did you hear that? Yeah. Wow, cool. Shh, shh. It's a red-tailed hawk. It's so cool. You know, the, the hawks, they... We're they, bird freaks. Yeah, they, they harass crows because the crows no, nest No, the crows high harass they, them. Well, it's both ways. The, the hawks... They go, mind in their own business. No. Obviously, you can see whose side I'm on. Go ahead. Go ahead. I interrupted. The, the the hawks the hawks are messing with the crows, trying to you know get their their nests or whatever, and the crows chase them off. Is usually what I that's what I've observed. I think ones. that the the hawks are just coming into the crows' territory. It happens to be flying through or going looking for food. I don't think they're going after the crows, but because they're in the crows' territory, the crows then go do their security, like get this thing out of our zone. Like you're in our airspace. It's not that they're going for the crows. Oh, I saw a hawk dragging a crow off. <laughs> <laughs> so you're completely misreading this. <laughs> Whatever. I think deeply about random things that don't matter. There's your crow. Yeah. See, he just said she's right. Didn't you hear him? <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay, guys. guys. We'll see you next time. See you later. Bye. Bye.